Right guys, I think this section right here needs cleaning up. So let's do an Indominus Rex collection video. Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to Maverick 2 Jurassic World Midlands. So today we will do a video on my entire Indominus Rex collection. I think it is going to be epic. Look right here, there are like plenty of different Indominus Rex and this section needs to be cleaned up, okay? So let's start by picking up all the different Indominus Rex from Level 2 Jurassic World Midlands and later on let's head over to the mini shelves to pick up all the mini figures, so let's do this. Alright guys, this section right here is actually dedicated to Indominus Rex and a couple of, um, you know, Spinosaurus figures, I think, like two of them and one diorama right inside. So let's clear this entire section. Okay, this section is cleared and they are all inside the box. Alright guys, next, let's pick up maybe one Indominus Rex. I think we do have an Indominus Rex right here from Takara Tomy, so let's pick this one out. Looks really good. Let's place it into the box. Okay, let's also pick up this Indominus Rex skeleton as well, or rather fossil. I would say it's a, it's a skeleton, not a fossil. Okay, next, let's fill this egg up with all the different Indominus Rex minis from the mini shelf. Okay, so let's do this. Alright, let's begin with the first shelf right here. We do have a Golden Indominus Rex. Um, if you move down, there's a normal one from Captive Collection. The basic figure here as well. I think we don't have any from the latest Mattel series. We do have a very cute little finger puppet right here. What else do we have? Um, yes, we have two little cute eggs right here. Nothing from here, so let's pick all of them out. Okay, let's do this. All right, moving on to the first shelf actually. Okay, we actually have quite a number of different Indominus Rex minifigures. So let's pick all of them up and place it into this mini egg right here. Okay, so let's do this. All right, guys, next stop, the Monster Island Room. We do have one or two Indominus Rex figures. This one from Imagine Next, Dan Rue Studio. We also have the Lego figures right here, guys. Check this out. Yep, we have two of them, so let's pick all of them up. All right, guys, it's time for us to begin. I'm pretty excited because you can see right here on the table, we have like lots of Indominus Rex stuff. This is basically Indominus Rex galore, okay? So first, let's take a look at what I have hidden inside, you know, some of these eggs right here because I know that you guys actually love me opening, you know, Surprise dinosaur eggs in right here. I think this is a Velociraptor. So let's pop this open Okay, let's take a look at what's inside. I've basically hidden the one and only Takara Tomy Indominus Rex figure I think this figure is quite a nice one, but it doesn't have the spikes as you guys can see Indominus Rex it has spikes right behind the back of the head it doesn't have it, but I think it still looks pretty good for a small little Indominus Rex figure. So let's place this right here on the table, okay? So this egg, let's just place it right over here. Okay, later on, we will be opening this Jurassic World Indominus Rex kit. It is super awesome. If you guys have not seen this before, stay tuned to the end of the video because I'll be opening this to show you guys, okay? Next up, all right. Of course, right at the back, we have the Super Colossal Indominus Rex. I almost said Tyrannosaurus Rex. And what do we have right here, guys? This is actually a hybrid Rampage Indominus Rex. Level 40 hybrid Indominus Rex. You can see it is super beautiful. Uh, in fact, this is my most favorite Hasbro Indominus Rex. I mean, my most favorite Hasbro figure. Um, yeah, it's quite a nice figure, but I I don't think the arms are actually working. But let me just try this again. That's you know I think it's supposed to like you have to, you have to like push it down, but some somehow it is not working. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of like faulty, I guess, but still a very very cool figure. I love 
the colors on this figure i think it is a um, superb superb figure there's a bit of dirt right here so i'm definitely going to clean this one up right now all right next we take a look at this one which is known as the extreme damage indominus rex uh, one of the latest additions i would say and you can see this button right here on the top will change the body you know this is basically like you know some kind of um injury probably caused by you know the tyrannosaurus rex or maybe giganotosaurus will be cool but of course the indominus rex didn't meet the giganotosaurus but i think it'll be cool if indominus rex versus gigar in a battle i think it will be an epic battle okay next up let's take a look at this one right here guys so this one is actually from imagine next it's kind of like a cutesy little um dinosaur figure but you can see i'm not too sure if you could you can see this part that's like glue coming out which is not nicely painted i would say but still a pretty interesting figure check this out you can actually do this and the body will actually move the neck will move and it will just go into this like swinging and uh, rampaging action pretty cool i would say yep pretty nice one um the colors are kind of refreshing because it also spots some blue okay on top which is pretty nice all right let's move on and take a look at our next figure up our next figure maybe let's just focus on this super colossal indominus rex i think this is such a beautiful figure we have not shown this for like the longest time yes and i think it's time for us to like you know enjoy the indominus rex again next up the next item right here it's actually a pretty cool item this is known as i mean this is not known as this is basically the indominus rex tumbler quite a nice um tumbler would say you can find um this illustration uh, of the indominus rex and we got this from universal studio quite a nice figure it's basically a water bottle i would say all right let's move on and take a look at other figures okay next up what is this i think this is known as the destroy and devour indominus rex which is more or less the same as the extreme damage uh, Indominus Rex. Let me just put this aside first because I know that you guys are hungry for this. What's inside this? Plenty of minifigures. Let's open this gigantic egg up and see what's hidden inside. Plenty of really, really cool stuff. I think many figures, maybe not every single one of you have um, seen it before. What is this? Zoom Rider. So let's check this out. So this is basically a... Um, figure from toy monster it's quite a nice one i would say you can actually draw this back put it backwards release it okay let's try to um not let it travel too far very very cool yeah so i'm gonna put the mini figures like you know right in the middle let's do like a very nice lineup hopefully you can take like a nice uh, thumbnail Okay, this one is a cool little figure. It's known as a cup topper. It's basically something that you put on top of this plastic cup. We got this from a movie theater, I think so. I think so, I can't really remember, but it's a very nice one, I would say. Okay, let's just take a look at another one. Okay, this one, I have no idea how we actually got this. It's a very cute little Indominus Rex figure and it's an official Jurassic World product. But I've told I totally can't remember where we actually got it from, how we got it, you know, is it like a vending machine? I have totally no idea. Okay, this one we got this from another cop topper. It's an official product in case that you guys don't know. And uh yes, and it comes with a movable head right here very very cute so i think we got this from uh, an online store it's actually a movie collectible okay before we check out all the mini dip, mini indominus racks let's take a look at our bigger ones okay this one is a pretty cool one have you guys seen this before okay if you guys have watched jurassic world fallen kingdom this is basically 
the skeleton of the Indominus Rex that has sunk to the bottom of the Mosasaurus enclosure. Do you guys remember that scene? Yep, so this is a very very beautiful um, skeleton of the Indominus Rex. Wow, it's kind of dusty so I definitely need to clean this up later on. I think all the figures, before I keep them, I'm gonna take like a wet wipe to clean them up nice, nice and nice and clean. All right, let's move on to our next figure. The box is basically right here on the floor, so I'm gonna pick up every single one just to show you guys, okay? Um, next up, this is not an official Jurassic World Indominus Rex figure. It is actually from Nanmu Studio, but it's a quite a highly realistic figure. You know, too bad they didn't add the spikes right at the back of the neck, otherwise this figure would have been like perfect, I feel. Okay, uh, yeah, it's a very nice figure. Let's just put this one right over here. Very, very nice. Okay, maybe this egg should be removed. Alright, let's pick up another one. Okay, this is basically the very first Indominus Rex figure ever made. Yes, the first Hasbro one. You can see there's a bit of like dirt as well. So yeah, when I see dirt on my figures, uh, I, I can't get very, very frustrated. So I need to clean it up definitely. Okay, this figure is very nice. It actually glows in the dark. Yeah, you can see the body actually turns red when you pull down um, the first, the left forearm. Very, very beautiful. There's only one type of raw, if I'm not wrong. It doesn't seem to light up this time. Let's try. Yeah, there's a couple of different raws. Very, very nice. The batteries are still working, which is awesome, which is awesome. So let's try to place this um, on the table. Hopefully, we're able to do it. Let me just get this gigantic egg out of the, um, the way. But you guys know that this figure, it can't really stand very well okay so you have to like lean it against or um, a figure or something all right let's see what's inside as well a mini translucent indominus rex okay the translucency is basically to demonstrate and to illustrate the camouflaging abilities of the indominus rex yes the Indominus Rex is able to change its color to blend it with its surrounding, which is awesome. Yeah, so there was one scene in um, Jurassic World, or um, not Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, Jurassic World, the very first one. Um, Indominus Rex was actually hiding in the forest very, very well camouflaged, and it ambushed, you know, the people who were trying to track it down. So, yep, very, very awesome Indominus Rex. It has like super cool abilities. Do you guys know, you know, what DNA actually enabled the Indominus Rex with its camouflaging abilities? The answer is the octopus. Yes, that's right. So let's grab hold of another surprise figure from this egg. What is this? No, I don't, I'm not sure you guys another one. Let me try. This one. Have you guys seen this one? I, I don't think all of you guys have seen this one before. So this is basically a McDonald's Happy Meal figure. Yes, Happy Meal figure. Check this out, check this out. So it has a wheel below. So if you push it, <laughs> the jaw will actually open and close. But it's just opening and close like, you know, such a small angle and it seems like it's just like talking. It's not like chewing or chomping down. Yeah, but still, a very very cute and adorable figure I, I would say yeah all right let's see what else is inside the box okay let's see let's see I, I think we still have some medium-sized figure so please be patient okay this one is actually from um, 2015 yeah it's quite some time now 2015 Wow 2015 is like eight years ago oh my goodness Wow, and um, yeah, and this is actually from the Gyro Spear playset. And it comes to this battle damage mechanism, which is not working um, extremely well. So you can close it, you tap on it, you know, maybe you can use like a, another dinosaur 
for example, the T-Rex attacking the Indominus Rex, chomping right down and just spring right open. So the T-Rex basically caused the injuries. Yeah, you can, I mean, you can have like some play, some better actions with this figure. But this doesn't work very well. It's kind of like very, very tough to open. But very, very cool figure as you guys can see. All right. But this figure can't really stand as well. I mean, what's new? <laughs> what's new? Yes. All right. Let's have a look at another figure. We have this mini chomping Indominus Rex. Okay. This is the normal version. Yes, there is another version. There is a an armored version. Okay, I'm gonna put the normal version right here first. Um, and this is the hybrid version. I mean, the Indominus Rex is already a hybrid, but this is like further hybrid nation or something like that. <laughs> it comes with this armor, which is removable. You can just pop it right on top. So it basically serves like a protection against like. I mean, I wouldn't say predators because the Indominus Rex is an apex predator. There's no other predator that can prey on the Indominus Rex. But this definitely forms, um, you know, extra additional protection against other carnivores. Very cool. Yeah. So I'm just going to put this one right here. All right. Let's pick up another surprise figure. What is this? Okay, we got this quite recently is actually from a China toy manufacturer. I have no idea what, what's the name called. Let's take a look. Um, can't really see the words. Yeah, but this is an official Jurassic World product. It looks very, very cute and adorable. There's actually another one. I think this one is considered the shiny version. Uh, let's pick out another one with the Snap Squad. Snap Squad are basically out of production. There will no longer be Snap Squads because the new series or the new line that replaced that is replacing the Snap Squad is known as the Wild Pop-Ups. I think you guys know that. Okay, let's pick up another one. Okay, this one is basically the pop and lock figure. You can see, you can pop in the head, you can pop in the tail. It's basically the pop and lock figure from Toy Monster. Very, very cool. Put this one right here. All right, next up, another. Okay, I, I would say this is a metallic or shiny Indominus Rex. It's supposed, I don't think it's a rare one. It's, I think it came along in a set. I can't re really remember, but you, you can see they are all pretty much the same. Okay, next up. Another figure inside the box. What is this, guys? So this is basically a baby Indominus Rex. Kind of cute. I have no idea why my Indominus Rex figure, they are like turning yellowish. No idea why. So I, I definitely need to clean them up later. Oh, it's working. Very nice. I'm not too sure whether it has sound. So I mean, it has lights. Oh, there you go. Beautiful. Don't bite my finger, okay? Okay, it actually comes with some food. Yeah, this is the food. So you can basically stick this food into his mouth like this. How do you actually do this? I think there is like, um, yeah, like, not too sure. But you can definitely press this button for it to roll. The tongue, the tongue itself is another button. Yeah, very, very adorable. Um, Indominus Rex figure. Okay, um, let's see what else are inside the box. I think we are just left with Lego figures. So there are two different types of Lego Indominus Rex. I wouldn't say type, two different color scheme. This was the very first one. The very first uh, Indominus Rex Lego figure. It's a ninth figure, I would say. And this one was a later version. I can't remember when this was produced, but definitely at a later date, perhaps a, you know a year or two ago. Um, if you ask me, I definitely prefer this color because this color tends to turn yellowish quite easily, as you know, as all the white products out there. I remember I used to have a Casio watch 
with a leather with not not leather strap with a white strap and the white strap turned blue because I was wearing like denim denim jeans and it also turned yellowish as well so yellow I mean so white colored products usually turn yellowish quite easily I mean especially when it comes to rubber and or plastic okay I think we are just left with the minifigures and the Indominus kit. The Indominus kit is something that I'm really really excited to share with you guys, so stay tuned. So we have the basic figure of the Indominus Rex right here. Let's see what else we've got. This is from the 2015 Hasbro Minis. Very nice. I love what they have done there by adding some, you know, blue colored highlights on top to make it more refreshing yeah i think that is really nice a nice touch i would say i'm trying to put like the bigger figures at the back so that you are still able to see like the mini ones in front okay so this is how you should display your figures as well bigger ones always are um, behind so that they don't cover up the smaller ones in front another snap squad and this is supposed to be the metallic version very nice so let's just put this one right here okay let's how many more do we have inside the box let's have a look i think we have one more so previously i've shown you guys the metallic version or the shiny version and this is the non-shiny version both are pretty cool i would say Another, I think this one is from 2015 if I'm, not, if I'm not wrong. I think so. I think so. So let's move on and take a look at um, the other one. Okay, this one is probably one of the latest Indominus Rex minifigures. This is from um, Toy Monster. A very nice figure. This is probably the last one inside the box. It's a finger puppet, an official Jurassic World product, very cute. So there are actually 10 of them, so you're able to put all 10 finger puppets into every single finger. And um, you can use it to make like the daddy fingers, daddy finger song. Yeah, I'm not kidding you. <laughs> That's cringe then. Alright, okay, so this is basically my Indominus Rex collection as you guys can see. Um. And the next step is basically for us to take a look at the Indominus Rex kit. So, uh, let me just get this kit out. Alright! Okay. It's a really, really awesome set, I would say. Jurassic World Indominus Rex kit. I think let's have a look at this set right here. Right over here. Okay, because we don't have space in the middle so we definitely have to take a look at this set over here it's a bit dark but i think it's it's still okay it's still okay okay i'm, I'm still trying to i'm trying to balance this indominus rex figure it's like falling over i do not want like an earthquake happening here so let me just tidy this place space up okay let's do this let's open this set up awesome stuff Indominus Rex so it comes with this little plate metal plate that says warning Indominus Rex activity is high very cool you can actually hang this in your bedroom it's um, a very nice one I'd say and it comes with a book okay the book it's it's quite a thick book so we can have a look at this book later on because I just want you guys to have um, a quick glimpse of every single item in the box and it comes with this little letter so it's basically like a simulation of you visiting Jurassic World and you're getting this kit as a visitor very nice okay um yep and this is like a little leaflet bigger louder more teeth Indominus Rex arrived arrives this summer so it's basically like an introduction of Jurassic World. It comes with a map. Looks really, really beautiful. It's a really, really awesome set, I would say. And if you open this up, you can see Isla Nublar. You know, this um, theme park map. 
very, 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 very nice. Prepare for your next big adventure. So it basically tells you all the different amenities and activities in Jurassic World. And this is an Indominus kit. Wow, I love this envelope. If you open this up, you're able to find like lots of um, cool stuff inside. Let's have a look. So it comes with... Um, okay, let's take a look at a bigger one. Okay, so you can see this is like a little glossy leaflet. Wow, you open this up, you're able to see like illustrations. Wow, the speed of the Indominus Rex, the raw 160 decibels. Okay. Wow. Bigger, louder, more teeth. This is so well designed. It looks like an actual, you know, when you visit a zoo, you get like a very nice, you know, visitor pack and stuff like that. And this is like the ticket, guys. It looks so real. Three day pass, adopt. $2,800 is definitely, you know, a pretty expensive um, package, but understand understandably so, okay? Comes with um, stickers. Indominus Rex opening weekend and a very nice blue Jurassic World logo sticker. It's just awesome. I think this set is really worth it, I, I feel. It's so well done. Jurassic World Isla Nubla Lagoon is the Mosasaurus Lagoon, you know, and who knows, Mosasaurus was the one that actually, you know, took down the Indominus Rex. And this is a greeting card, or like a postcard that you can actually send to your friend. Yeah, I think you can actually do this. You can actually use this as a real postcard. And here's another one, another postcard. Very beautiful illustrations. You know, I love it. I feel this set is one of my best, um, you know, addition in my collection. Close it. Let's take a look. What is this? So this is basically like a stack of tickets. You know, you have your Mosasaurus feeding show ticket right here. Underwater observatory ticket. Oh my goodness, my ticket is a little bit damaged. It looks like an actual real ticket. I mean, it's supposed to be real. I mean, the set, private safari. Oh my goodness, so cool. Dino facts. Very nice. Okay, and it's and it also comes with this slap wrist band. Let's try this. Yep, this is known as a slap wrist band. With this Jurassic World logo, so you can just slap it on your wrist. Absolutely gorgeous. Comes with this VIP cut right here, guys. So you're supposed to like attach the lanyard, and you, know, you wear it around your your neck. You're required to wear this pass in a prominent position at all times. This pass remains the property of Jurassic Park. Isla Nublar Incorporation and must be surrendered to an authorized representative upon upon request. Very nice. And this is actually the lanyard which I'm not going to open otherwise it will be very hard for me to like put it right back. Okay. Very very nice. Uh, it also comes with a couple of pendants or coins. Jurassic World coin right here. Beautiful. This is like a huge one. Just a pot logo. Wow, this is awesome. This is really beautiful. I mean, I've already seen this, but yeah, to be seeing it again, it feels great. Wow, Jurassic World logo, a pendant. I put this one right here, I think. And um, this is basically like the flag. Yeah, it's a banner, so I'm not going to open this. And this is like a tote bag. Why is there like a Camp Cretaceous? Ah, yes! Because during Jurassic World, Camp Cretaceous was actually part of the tour. So Camp Cretaceous actually happened between like 2015, around that season. Yeah. So it totally makes sense, guys. Absolutely clever 
beautiful. So camp Cretaceous actually happened during Jurassic World. Very, very beautiful. So this is basically the Indominus Rex kit. Okay. Oh, uh, we haven't seen the book. The book is absolutely amazing. So let's have a look. You know, it's like made of hardcover, very high quality. Let's have a look at this. Okay, it basically talks about John Hammond, the timeline of the um, Jurassic Park, where to go, what to do. So it's basically like, you know, like a little guidebook for visitors to Jurassic World. Very smart. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. And you can see like pictures of the um, enclosure. Wow, Jurassic World gates. The main street innovation center where they have like this hologram remember the scene where you know the Dilophosaurus was facing blue having creation lab where you can make Dr. Wu um, Henry Wu IMAX theater of course they have like cinemas inside as well in Dominus Rex show arena it's basically like the enclosure Packy arena petting zoo you can basically like pet little dinosaurs Tyrannosaurus Rex Kingdom is the space where you can find a T-Rex. Mosasaurus Feeding Show was probably one of the um, best attractions, I would say. Uh, underwater Observatory is basically, you know, like the glass panel right here, you know, where you can find the uh, Mosasaurus. Cretaceous Cruise, nice. And the um, Aviary, where you um, can see like the Dimorphodons and the Pteranodons. Gallimimus Valley, it's basically for you to be, uh, you know, viewing the Gallimimus out in the open and probably the gyrosphere or some safari uh, vehicles. Triceratops Territory Gyrosphere, it's basically like the little vehicle, the glass vehicle that you can travel around in Jurassic Park. I mean, Jurassic World, Bamboo Forest. So, okay, okay, you also have other stuff like Botanical Gardens, Adventure Park. Aquatic park, very nice. Lagoon beach where you can just enjoy like a suntan over there. Gondola lift, very nice. Raptor paddock where you know blue delta, echo, and Charlie were kept. You can also play some sports. I mean, if you are at Jurassic World, why would you want to play sports? Oh, I mean because you you're staying there and you probably. Spend a few days there and um, you want to play some sports probably. Family package. Very cool. It's like an actual real park. I mean, it's really too bad that, you know, we don't have this park. Otherwise, I think, I mean, they can, they can actually create like a Jurassic World park with like animatronics, um, dinosaurs. I think that that would be awesome as well. Yeah, I think that would be really nice as well. So yeah, very, very nice. Um, absolutely beautiful set, I would say. Amazing set. Um, let's just keep all of these things in. Hopefully, we're able to keep it in. Okay, let's try. Let's try to keep everything in. Love this set. I love this Indominus kit. I think there is also other kits. I've actually got, uh, you know, a few more additional ones because I really, really love them. And uh, yeah, absolutely beautiful set. Thanks for watching this, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Um, in my next video, I'll probably do another collection video. So I want you guys to like comment down below, like what other collection videos you guys want me to make. I'll be happy to do that. Okay. Thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.